With the bike's seat and shrouds off, you'll need to remove the gas tank and disconnect the fuel line. Be sure to put a plug in the fuel line. Remove the two 5mm Allen bolts that hold on the ECU bracket. Remove the stock ECU and carefully unplug it from the wiring harness. Apply dielectric grease to the connectors to keep water out of the electrical system. Remove the rubber cover from the stock ECU and install it on the GIT ECU. Carefully install the GIT ECU into the wiring harness bracket. Plug in the ECU and put the bracket into the mounting position. Then install the two bolts. Plug the Wi-Fi COM into the correct port on the GIT ECU and position the Wi-Fi COM out of the way. Using your smartphone, install the YGIT application. This is a free app to download. You will need to download this app in order to set the throttle position sensor on your GIT ECU. If your bike does not have electric starting capabilities, you will need to install the fuel tank. Make sure to connect the fuel line, although it's not necessary to bolt the fuel tank down. Start the motorcycle and let it idle. On your smartphone, you'll need to go to your Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi COM. Match the number that is on the side of the Wi-Fi COM and then enter the password. Select service in the YGIT app. Select zero TPS. Select OK. Select set. Select yes. Select back and you will have completed the process of setting the TPS sensor. Turn the motorcycle off and then remove the fuel tank. Make sure to cap the fuel line. Carefully remove the Wi-Fi COM and install the protective cap. Wi-Fi COM can also be permanently secured to the bike for easy tuning in the future. Just make sure the wires are away from the pinch points. Install the two position map switch wire, routing the wire under the top radiator hose and following the throttle cables up to the handlebars. Plug the map switch wire leads into the ECU connector, making sure to match the wire colors. Remove the two position map switch mount and install it onto the right side of the handlebar next to the throttle. Zip tie the wiring to the handlebar. You will also need to zip tie the excess wire. We position that wiring behind the front number plate. Make sure the tip over sensor is mounted the correct way under the fuel tank. Reinstall the fuel tank, connect the fuel line after removing the plug, and install all other necessary parts for the motorcycle to be operational.